when I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. Hey everybody, I'm in Washington DC for work and I decided to throw together a little video for you. Uh, right behind me you'll see the African American Museum of uh, History and Culture. Uh, over here you can see the Washington Monument and uh, back that way is the Capitol Building. Uh, I few, flew in a few days ago and I couldn't help but think about the fact that flat earthers always claim that no pilot ever adjusts their altitude to compensate for the curvature of the earth. If you were to ask a pilot if they ever nose down to uh, the plane to compensate for the eight inches per mile squared of uh, the curvature of the earth, they look at you like you're crazy. And this is true. The answer is very simple. And it points out the fact that flat earthers have a very simplistic view of the world. They always think in terms of perfection. That is, to them, the globe model is about a perfect sphere with a set radius. The heliocentric model is about the Earth being the exact same distance of 93 million miles away from the sun at all times. And when a plane is flying at 35,000 feet, they think it's a constant 35,000 feet at all times. That's how they envision it. The reasons pilots don't uh, adjust for the curvature of Earth is because they are constantly adjusting for the imperfections of their controls and the turbulence of the air. When a plane is at 35,000 feet, it's never consistently at 35,000 feet. It goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down, all the time constantly changing. And within that change, the curvature of the Earth gets taken care of. Here's some very simple evidence of that. The airline I was flying on was kind enough to have the details of the flight available for view. We have the distance traveled, the speed, the altitude, and I recorded it for about a minute and a half. In that time, the plane travels about 14 miles and changes elevation from 35,040 feet down to 35,027 feet, back up to 35,032 feet, and then finally down to 35,023 feet. A net change of 17 feet. Now, according to flat earthers, a pilot would have to adjust 8 inches for every mile travel to compensate for the curvature of the Earth. Well, changing 17 feet over a distance of 14 miles more than makes up for eight inches of mile travel. And this is why pilots never have to adjust for the curvature of the earth, because they are constantly adjusting for other things. And if flat earthers thought about that for a minute, it would never be a question. That's my job, that's what I do! Congratulate me on last night's victory.